hi what's up everybody if you are new to my channel you're welcome if you are already subscribed to my channel you're welcome as well don't forget to hit that you know uh like button and uh, subscribe to my channel so that other people can benefit from what i'm sharing right now you need to give this video a like and in today's video this is what we are going to be creating we are going to uh be manual uh, we are going to be uh you know manipulating you know test into a logo in other words we are creating a logo so without further ado let's step into it so right now what we are going to you know work on is to go over to your uh, test then you click let's type t l c did you see that so right now what you are going to do is to change it to let's change it to uh change the, the test to uh brush script so as for me i'm using this font edward scripts you can decide to use any uh script that you have you know but in this uh tutorial i'm using this so what we're going to do where uh, you might have changed it you, have, you might have changed it to uh you know your path font then you go over to what we call you know bezier 2 hit on bezier 2 then so we are going to be changing the uh you know hands of this you know our test so let's start from here click then you go go over just like so click drag drag we drag finish up finish it up right here don't finish up it up that there so you drag again then you drag then you finish it up here good so right now in this case what you are going to be doing now is to go over at your shape to hit on that so we are going to double click to add a node right here then we add a node instead no we are going to double click on this node to unappear the node good can you see that so let's go over to unappear this as well then you go over unappear this as well good so right now what we are going to do is to pull it up pull it down a little bit then we'll go over to this angle right here so let's double click on this dot to unappear the angle double click automatically goes double click no i don't like that so we are going to hard you know hard not right here so that it, it, it won't distort uh, the line so double click right here to add a node and double click at this angle then you go over to this node right here let's unappear that by double clicking automatically it goes so let's add a node right here then you unappear this double click double click good can you see that so right now let's go over to hit on help to open our keyboard a dialog box pops up so we are ticking the line you know we want to make it you know a little bit thicker so that it will look nice so what we are going to do we are going to make it three then behind two scale width you know i think it's too bold let's use two okay it's okay even two is too is too bold it have 12 so it takes you there again so let's use one double click so right now what we are going to do right now is to go over to tick in to go over to object so so without this so as this right now the path is you know uh, a single you know uh, line and we needed uh, to convert it to uh, what's it called in order to maneuver the thickness to make some uh, somewhere along that line a little bit thicker why you know somewhere a little bit tinier so what we are going to do right now is go over to object then you locate you know convert you know half line to objects so with that automatically that gives us room to tick in some part of this line so automatically it's been you know what's it called it's been turned to an object so 
you draw this you know path line right down can you see that so double click here to unappear that double click unappear that can you see that so double click right here to unappear that as well can you see that good so we are getting there so right now at this right now let's just you know uh bring this a little bit down to make it tick right there good can you see the outcome of that good so in this case we are going to be you know uh wedding uh this you know because it's a standalone object we are going to wear it all out together with this you know uh what's it called font so let's go over to just you know convert that font to you know curve so as as it is being converted right now so let's hold shift key then select the previous you know object then you go over uh, to this uh, place where it all up automatically it will start so right now what we are doing right now is to double click to add a node right here then we go back to this place on appear the node and appear the node double click right here on appear this node and appear this node can you see that that's smoothing me that's smoothing it all up good so in this case right now what we are going to be doing right here is to pull this angle you know let's click that so let's pull this angle with a shape to a little bit here well then we we'll double click to so unappear that good can you see the outcome of that good that's phenomenal so let's go back to this place to add you know uh let's create you know ellipse on that so hold control key for a perfect circle then zoom up with your zoom tool then adjust it just like so and wear it all up together with the object good can you see that so right now we are making this angle right here a little bit you know uh thicker so double click to unappear this line over this place so double click to unappear good double click to unappear this then you pull this up to taking you know that position can you see that good so that's that for that so right now we are working on this angle so what we need to do right now is to go back to your you know helix tool then you start from here so let's drag drag that go just like so and you finish it up here yeah. good so right now what we are going to do is to go over and uh, taking that hit f12 then you go over and change that out to one good so as usual before we go so what we are going to do is to just you know select your pen tool your uh, shape tool then you double click here and appear this not right here that changes then you go over and on up here this angle right here that changes the whole thing on up here this no that's not okay so let's double click right here up here this good add a not right here and up here this as well good can you see that so right now let's go over to object and you locate you know convert outline to object automatically changes the whole thing so right now what we are going to do is select your shape tool then you pull this angle down double click to add a node right there to unappear the node rather can you see the outcome of that that's phenomenal so let's go back to this place let's pull this angle a little bit downward then double click to unappear this line double click that changes the whole thing can you see that so right now let's double click to unappear this node then let's uh, unappear this node as well then pull this up a bit 
there on a pier they're not good can you see that so right now let's pull this angle then on a pier they're not just like that on a pier they're not from here as well good can you see that so right now what we need to do is to just you know this is not normal right here so let's pull this a little bit downward good can you see that so let's go over and zoom that up double click can you see the outcome of that so right now let's finish it up right here let's add our dots to the extreme end of this you know finish line so let's put it as black so right now let's wet it all up together wet together good so right now you can see that so let's wet it all up uh, with a main you know uh, object right there wet it then we go over and zoom that angle so what we are going to do right here is that we are going to smooth in that line right uh, where it's being joined right here so go over out to your uh, shape tool then you double click here double click here to add a node then on appear this node right at this angle on appear this double click here to add a node then double click here to add a node then on appear these two nodes right here to smoothen it all up good can you see that so let's change the color of everything right now so we are uh, changing it to uh blue can you see that good can you see the outcome of what we've created so far so let's put it on a round object let's change this to uh black center back then let's change this to white good can you see that so here we come to the end of the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below subscribe and uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that other people can benefit uh, from the trick being shown right in this uh tutorial you know so until today we meet again in the next video bye for now